really is unusual and rightly scary is the idea that we can directly alter the climate by reflecting away some more sunlight. And that's scary because we have extraordinary leverage as humans. Our science technology, for better or for worse, has granted us that. So with very tiny amounts of money or effort, we could alter the world's uh, climate by, by putting these reflective particles, say, in the stratosphere. And that has profound implications, right up to big geopolitical implications. So conceptually, it's simple. The Earth is in some kind of balance where we absorb sunlight and we radiate it away as infrared. And what CO2 is doing by warming the climate is making it harder for that infrared to get out. If you uh, uh, reflect away a little more sunlight by adding reflective aerosols, tiny particles, say, to the upper atmosphere. And how do you do that? Uh, you could do it with aircraft, for example. Sandy slammed into New York City last night, flooding the World Trade Center site. It's supposed to be 70 degrees today. It's freezing here. Speaking of global warming, where is we need some global warming? It's freezing. A crack more than 120 miles long on the east side of the Antarctic Peninsula, finally breaking off, creating a spectacular iceberg weighing more than a trillion metric tons. It's time to put America first. That includes a promise to cancel billions in climate change spending. Our plan will end the EPA. Read you the quote um, because it's an important one, and it comes from um, the Secretary of Defense William Cohen, and it was at a DoD news briefing, April 27, 1997. And it was on a conference of interna on international terrorism, international um, uh, terrorism, and weapons of mass destruction. Now, this is four years before 9/11, um, and this was in the DoD news briefing that that followed. And what he said, and I quote. Others are engaging even in eco-type of terrorism where they, whereby they can alter climate, set off earthquakes and volcanoes remotely through the use of electromagnetic waves, unquote. Now that's a powerful statement for a seated Secretary of Defense to make. Another question on, on the, uh, in an interview with the Los Angeles Times on April 21st, you said that the, you told the Associated Press uh, that the American government has created weather tampering techniques so that the new world order will be able to starve millions of Americans and to control the rest. Our last two record years, tax years, were the hottest on record in New York. Sea level has risen by eight inches on the eastern seaboard of the United States. Flooding from Florida up through the Carolinas has not occurred at this level in 28 centuries. The news is just in. This is startling. 
Would you explain what you were trying to say? Well, it, it, what I was trying to say is exactly what I said. There is weather control techniques. We have a complete package on that, which I did not bring, but I certainly will see to it that it is brought in for the record. Number one, the entire patents on the equipment. Number two, Senator Claiborne Pell's complete statement and story of his own that not only does it exist, but that we even utilize it as far back as the Vietnam War. You might want to touch base That's with right, Senator but I, but I, I just want to repeat before so, I turn to So questions. yes, yeah, so but we do have all that information. That you're saying the government has created weather tampering techniques so that the quote, new world order will be able to starve millions of Americans. Worldwide. To, millions of Americans and to control the rest. Yes, sir, and that's my belief. As bizarre as that sounds, when if somebody had told me that that equipment even existed 10 years ago, I would have thought they were nuts, sir. And at this point in time, we have all the documents to prove it. And if you think that 85 tornadoes takes place in the middle of our growing area by simultaneous accident, I'm, I'm sorry. With the equipment that's already set up internationally, and as bizarre as that is, it is proven and documented. We will supply you with those documents. As bizarre as that is, I would say that weather wars, and this is uh, quoting actually Senator Claiborne Pell himself, that they are the greatest weapon ever created in the world, and that's the Senator's own statement. So yes, I do stand on that. because the area is experiencing the worst fog it's seen in years. This is the Chengdu Airport. Canceled more than 80 flights this weekend and dozens of incoming flights had to be diverted to other airports. Now, the runway was closed for almost 10 hours this weekend. The airport said even though the fog hasn't cleared very much, they have decided to let certain flights leave to get people to their destination. Thank you. 